Oh, today, my friends, I am going to play with one tank which slowly wants to be, tries to be one of my favorite tanks in this game. I enjoy almost every single battle I play with the mighty T-57 Heavy. I'm working on field modification, um, field modifications on this tank as well. This is why it is in the Arni slot, you know, to get some extra experience on it. I'm still very far away from the field mods. I only have one uh, activated over here, but very, very far away, so they that into a consideration of course uh, but uh, I'm going to show you a build which I have been using and which is very uh, very nicely working build on T57 you know the main problem of this tank is let me just show you you know let's switch the scene the main problem is uh, this thing over here dispersion values this gun can be so effing terpy honestly it can be so terpy but if we do this guys if we do, you know, ventilation, I have in my uh, first slot. If we do this thing, if we do stabilizer, boom, just like that. We have the food as well, but it doesn't show over here directly. We have brothers in arms, we have smooth ride, you know, all those things which are hiddenly uh, boosting those things. And we have this stabilizer creasing directive as well. You can see it is so, so much better and you can actually feel it on the battlefield. The dispersion values. And uh, I'm able to connect so many more shots because of that. Only because of that. So today we are going to play a couple battles with uh, the mighty D57 with this setup. You know, the DPM uh, on a auto-loading tank. Over 3,443 is absolutely crazy. The burst, 1,600 damage. You can dish out in literal 6 seconds after your first shot. And you are going to see many, many situations where this is actually going to be useful, where this actually works out, ladies and gentlemen. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the action, right after I have announced quite a massive giveaway. Because, you know, it is Desmas. There are already, already many giveaways going on the side. And uh, a couple days ago, I announced another one. And winners are on the screen right now. Boom, 33 premium boxes already sent out. All the winners. If you see your name, please go to your premium store and accept it, because I have already sent it out. But today, as I said, because it is Desmos, and in that video I said we are only getting started, today I am going to give away 100 large Christmas boxes. How I am able to fund all this? Of course, I am asking for sponsors, I am looking for sponsors, who is actually going to pay for literally all of that, and I am here as a little middleman. Ladies and gentlemen, let's say a quick thank you and then I'm going to let you know what you have to do to be able to take part of that. You Don't worry guys, you are not going to miss anything because I'm going to do all that while we're loading into the battle. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, please bring me some more legendaries in a free to play RPG available on both mobile devices and on PC called Raid Shadow Legends. Now guys, remember last time I mentioned you the new clan boss Hydra, you know, with many heads. Well, those heads have names and roles. The head of suffering, for example, is all about making your team suffer in the nastiest ways. The head of TK will try to slowly weaken your team, while the head of Wrath weakens and taunts your team and puffs attack on all the other heads. Head of Torment is using true fear to drag your team down. Head of Blight is a nasty one. It loves poison. It is always nasty. And the head of Mischief steals all the buffs from your champion and then spreads them to all the other Hydro heads in the battle. And right now they are also giving away a limited edition champion for both both new and old players, eSports legend and Navi superstar simple. It is super simple to get simple. Simply log in for 7 days between now and January 28th and it is done. That simple. So check it out yourself by scanning my QR code or hitting the link in the description. And as a new player, you will get an epic Vergis champion, 200,000 silver, energy refill, experience booster, and an ancient shard on the top. Just make sure to claim your rewards from the inbox in the next 30 days, and you are good to go. And there you go. We are already in our first battle, which is on mines, full turret in action with two artilleries. And uh, this is why I'm not going to play in the middle. And of course, they have Grand One. 
we that uh, well I don't simply want to be in the middle let's see what happens over here on the encounter battle on mines or in the encounter battle on mines but now let me let me just tell you what you have to do to be able to have a chance to win your piece from the 100 large boxes giveaway cake it is super simple top pinned comment left by me a gleam.io link very trusted giveaway site and uh, why am I doing it uh, this way this time is uh, whenever you win I am going to send you an email I'm confirming one sec I actually have a shot saying to badger one two that was a bad shot I knew come on side shot um, oh I should have one more if this guy keeps pushing forward nice okay two final shots were good but the second one was bad even before I took it I don't know why I took it anyway Gleam.io link, very simple way how to enter, you know, uh, use your subscribed YouTube account, uh, Twitch following many other social media visits uh, to simply, you know, enter the giveaway, claim some tickets, but uh, I am going to send all the winners an email asking which collection they actually want to choose, so which collection uh, needs the most help, you know, uh, bringing up, boosting up a bit. This is, I would say, the best way to do that. Uh, one shot was a bounce, second one, goodbye, Badger. Have a nice day. Sadly, right after Badger was able to take out our AMX 30B. But yes, um, I would like to help out a collection which actually needs boosting on your account. You know, it's simple. I think it is actually quite a good way to do that. Let me know what you think about that as well, this type of giveaway. Now, let's focus on the battle. Terry is uh, Jagdpanzer E100 coming, uh, who just took the shot and hello. Oh yes, please. Oh yes, please. Am I able to fully empty a clip? I should be able to do that and boom, just like that. Beautiful. 433, uh, like 3 out of 4 shots were high rolls and two last, 2 last shots were exactly the same rolls in this game. Now, now we're still losing 3 to 6 and I expect something to pop up from, uh, from up here very soon. Sadly, I do not have any... Uh, Angles for that. We have lost so many heavy tanks in the middle because they seem like they have Granvan who uh, who has been doing some work and VZ as well, uh, VZ. Uh, so uh, it is kind of expected, you know. This type of thing is kind of expected. But now here is SRV. Okay, pattern went down. Uh -huh. It is not looking super hot, but um, we have not completely lost it yet either. And here is E4 doing some work. Full HP run one. That sucks. Peak time. 183. Well, we do not have too many tanks left over here, honestly speaking. Uh, maybe I actually should load in uh, heat rounds as well because it is getting actually very, very sketchy over here. It is getting very, very sketchy over here. When are they going to flank us? This is my question right now. Are they going to flank us in the first place? Uh, 6 to 10, 6 to 10, 183 over there, yeah, there is Grun one. Is Grun going to come down or not? Okay, well they have to do something like that soon. I have not been proxied yet. Somehow I need to get an angle. One. Two and three and four. Okay. Ah, Granwan is able to hit me as well. Granwan is able to hit me as well. Oh, that was such a glitch shot. That was such a glitch final shot. Okay, luckily. Luckily, D57 has actually quite a fast reload time. But I expect him to drop down on me. I'm waiting for that E100 to take the shot or something. One. Oh, yes, please. Two. Three. And four. And Grunman is dropping down on me. Let's get some final damage. Sadly, this guy did take the shot before, you know, connecting the ram with me. That way I would have been able to get some more ramming damage, but still 5,100 damage done. This battle was decided. In the middle, I guess, the enemy artillery was more accurate. They had Kronman, they had uh, WZ, and this is exactly the reason why I said I didn't want to go over there. Mainly artillery, you know, bombarding us in the middle, but uh, we were able to do quite a lot of uh, work over here as well at the same time. 
So first battle, you were still able to see this gun slapping. Uh, what is so freaking good about uh, the 50-70 burst damage is simply, simply put crazy. And uh, let's jump into the next one. Good start, very good warm-up battle for today's video. And we are already in this second battle this time. One artillery and tier 9 action as well, featuring two light tanks, E100 on the other side. E100 versus D57, you know, this is uh, not... Uh, like, um, this is not uh, completely the same type of heavy tank gameplay action right over here. And by the way, we're quite close to the second mark as well. So I'm going to, you know, not in this video, but uh, I will be working on getting the second mark on this tank. And eventually maybe working on the third mark as well. Hello, D100, who thinks he was safe over there many times. Way too, you know, undecided. Undecised. Decided. Full, decisive, undecisive. Is that the correct word to use over here? This guy was like back and forth, back and forth. Am I spotted? Am I not spotted? What is going on? But it is very good to see a erect uh, D100, of course. I would like to be where this guy is right now, but um, you know, I don't want to make it rough for him. Okay. Uh, yeah, this stabilization is not working exactly how I want it, but, you know, you miss every single shot you do not take anyway, so I decided to take those shots anyway. Ooh, that final one looked actually the best. That blind shot looked actually the best over here. Now, we do not have anyone in the inner corner. We had a couple of guys pushing in. There is Emil pushing forward. Uh, ooh, why is Emil pushing forward like that? Actually, actually questionable. Please block E100 shot. Please, one more. Connect. Beautiful, nice. E100 was still able to manage to... Was still able to put the shot into me, but Emil 2 at least has been destroyed. There was E4 sniping as well, AMX 30. We have only EBR up here, yeah. Very weird uh, team positioning for our guys. It is a bit offensive, but you can see that our medium tanks and tank destroyers... Uh, tank destroyer is already in the position, in a quite a good position. Let's see. We can do a little scouting from here. Just a little tiny one. What is that IS-32 doing? Mm-hmm. There is E-100. Who didn't spot me? Maybe I should load in heat for the E100's turret. Because it can be super sketchy. I'm, I I might be able to penetrate the very, you know, the top of the turret, but from that range, placing my bets on that, it is not going to cut it. It is definitely not going to cut it. And we have to be careful about those side snipers as well. At the same time. Oh, there is E4. And T95. T95, one shot into you. E4 is out of the view range. I need to destroy this, actually. E4. Ooh, looked good. Very good. You can see, like, you can... If you have played with T57 before, and uh, you know the gun handling, you know how bad the gun handling can be. And now looking at this full stabilization boost, it actually makes big difference. It actually does make a big difference. That guy is asking for it. That guy is definitely asking for it. There is D10. They are not able to spot me. Alright, D10 is down. Uh-huh. AMX is pushing forward. Okay, that... I don't know what happened to my final shell uh, that was aimed at the upper plate on the ice-3, which was under penetration angle. I didn't want to receive any shots from E4, I didn't want to receive any penetrations, because this battle is still young, and this is why you were... Uh, this is why you saw me taking those weird, weird snapshots. Snap type of shots. E100 in the position. Okay, Leopard. 
Now after I got spotted over here, let's try to see that E100 again. going to take any shots in their angle like that. Maybe. Maybe this angle though. Nice. We got one out. Two. And three. I'm out of uh, standard AP rounds as well. So let's go for the heat. Let's go with the heat. 3000 damage done. Nice. And uh, still a lot of damage to be had. Actually, like not crazy amount. Uh, 8400 damage on the battlefield. Like if I'm able to get, let's say, 25% of that. That would be still 5k damage battle. Oh my god, that shot, dude. No, 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 no. Missed my shot, missed my shot, here is D95. But I'm going for D100, don't you worry guys. I'm going for D100. He's, he's looking at me, oh, not anymore. Beautiful. Okay, let's go for the reload again. I do not want to be spotted, I do not want to receive shots from uh, D95. Because, you know, with lucky high rolls, D95, like very lucky high rolls, D95 and E4 can actually destroy me with few shots. We are at 4k damage once again. Ay, 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 And there it is. There was the first lucky high roll, guys. There was actually the first lucky high roll. 800 and... 860 damage done. This is what I was saying, guys. This is what I was saying. Okay, E4 up tier, let's see, uh, whenever that EBR is going to spot uh, D95, I can go in. Ay, 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 ay. Maybe I should have gone uh, for the IS-3 before. Okay, D95. Ah, still looking at me. Still looking at me. Maybe I was proxied. Come on, buddy. Look away. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This stabilization, guys, this stabilization makes a huge, huge difference on D57. Huge difference. Like, actually, major one. Actually, major one. Where are you? Okay, you're not behind the house. Huh? Right here. Okay, dead. Nice. 4,437 damage. I think we do not have any blind shots and they only have uh, 7 rounds left actually as well. Absolutely fantastic. This time I was able to apply some bonus experience as well just for my field modifications because I'm just so, so far away. <laughs> like, like trying to go D57 again and then some on the top. It is tier 10s, you know, it takes uh, quite some time actually to fully field mode it up and uh, from over there I'm able to get some extra extra hit points. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, some profit as well. Uh, two battles featuring D57 with this setup, uh, 4,782 combined, uh, well not combined, average, some assistance as well, like let's say 5k combined uh, in those two battles in a row. It is definitely not what happens every single station every single day, but this tank is just so beautiful. It has that massive burst damage potential and hopefully you, you were able to see that this setup is working. It is making this gun just so much better even without bond equipment units, uh, which makes it even more better or uh, without uh, the even bounty equipment units. You know, the most expensive thing over here is the food. And that's it, basically. All those things, I have plenty. I have, how many do I have them in Tipo? In stock, 109 from all kinds of missions and what not. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, D57. Let me know what you think about this tank in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget to take part of the giveaway. It is a massive one, big one, 100 boxes. Uh, so, enjoy it. It is Desmos. Happy holidays. Stay awesome, stay sexy. Take care and bye.